Well, uncharted waters are what we are all in due to the coronavirus pandemic. It's had its clear impact in the sports world, canceling and postponing events left and right. The UIL announced that they are suspending all spring activities. That includes spring football and will have an effect on the Tyler Lee Red Raiders. And right now we are, are on the phone with the head football coach, Joe Willis. And coach, first question, let's start off here. With the circumstances that we are all in right now, what kind of adjustments have you and your program had to make during this time period? Well, obviously, the biggest adjustment is how we communicate with the kids, uh, you know, and, and all education really is kind of in the same boat. Uh, we're all trying to figure out how to connect, uh, you know, how to maintain a level of accountability. Uh, you know, for kids, a lot of this is a uh, norm for them. Uh, they're, they're native to this type of technology and this way of communicating. For a lot of educators and coaches out there, this is something different. So we are having to adjust and, and make some changes. But, you know, I think a lot of good things are also going to come out of this as well. Now, when it comes to spring football, the month of April is a month that you just can't lose. What kind of tools have you guys been utilizing to hold your players accountable? Spring for us, whether it was spring football or whether it was, you know, developing the mental toughness and, and knowledge of the game, uh, you know, we still kind of have our same goals in place. Uh, right now, our coaches have our players in position uh, units. Uh, they communicate with them on a daily basis. Um, you know, we've got coaches that send out workouts. Uh, on that workout, they, there's three parts to it. They're going to have a strength and conditioning part to it. They're going to have a flexibility part to it. And they're going to have a, a leadership or character development. We're holding them accountable by, by getting them to check back in with us and, and you know, assure us that they, they're completing these tasks that we give them during the week. Uh, but we, we're going to continue to develop in spring just like we always have. How have you seen your guys respond uh, during this time period? I'm really proud of our players, you know, our players and our coaching staff both have done a great job responding, you know, and we, we saw this coming pretty early on. You know, we, we worked really hard in the first three weeks to to try to get our kids in, in uh, a place where they knew what the internal leadership looked like, not only coach leadership, but also player leadership. Uh, our, our leaders have stepped up. They're communicating uh, with all our groups all the way down into the middle school now. Uh, so I've really been proud of the way our kids have responded to it. Uh, and, and again, I think it's going to be something that, that our team is going to take advantage of. With us utilizing virtual and digital nowadays, how do you think this will impact the future moving forward? I really believe that there are going to be some good things that come out of this. Uh, I think we're going to find out that, you know, not all meetings have to be face to face. And, you know, for, for some of us in, in the busy world that we live in, that's going to be a good thing as well. So I really feel like, you know, we're teaching some life skills here. Uh, to our kids, a lot of the levels of accountability are now going to go, you know, through our our players, um, you know, and and and, and again, that's going to be a good thing uh, because they're they're going to see the the benefits of not only learning how to communicate in this way, but also uh, holding each other accountable. You're only in your first couple of months as the head coach at Tyler Lee. What are some things that you've been prioritizing in terms of taking over a new program? Well, again, the first thing that I wanted to do is find out about our players, you know, and and see. Uh, you know exactly how they were going to fit into to our style of football uh, and then also uh, be able to set them up in a place where they understood uh, a, again what what leadership looked like within the program uh, they graduated a lot of good players last year a lot of good leaders as well uh, you know our player we've, we've been talking about that in, in morning meetings uh, about the need for leadership and about uh, the importance of being player led and not just coach fed uh, we've got our players right now in, in positions, and there is a position captain uh, established within those position groups. Uh, so, again, you know, that's kind of how we're moving forward. That's, that's where we started. Uh, I, was, I really only had about three weeks to get that done, but uh, very thankful that we did have that opportunity to set that up before this hit. Coach, as always, we appreciate your time. Stay safe out there. Uh, you bet. Take care.